guys, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your week ahead reading. We are looking at your general life during the week, your love life and also your career. Sit back, relax and enjoy your reading. Hi guys, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your week ahead reading. We're doing Monday the 8th through to Sunday the 14th of February 2021. I wanted to show you the cards the decks that we're using this week. So for the general message this week, we are using the uh, Cosmic Cycles Tarot. For your career message this week uh, via the tarot, we're using the Collider Dope Tarot deck, uh, color plus culture. It's, uh, this is phenomenal. It's uh, done by Crystal Banner, as you can see. Um, it's beautiful. I really enjoy working with this. I've only actually had this deck about a week. I've, I've yet to kind of do a review on the channel. Um, but it's really good. You'll see what I mean when you see when you see the cards that come out. It's just a really exciting and fresh deck, so it's really good. Using that, and we're also using for the love reading this week, your love message for this week, the Modern Love Tarot by Exploring the Many Facets of Love by Ethany. She's a YouTuber, and uh, she creates some of the most loveliest oracle and uh, tarot decks you'll ever see. So we're going to use that this one for... Um, for the love reading and this is expressly a love reading deck so yeah uh spiritual message this week guys we have the tea leaf fortune cards um by ray hepburn illustrated by shauna alexander so yeah these are the decks we have this week hi libra welcome to carol's universe here's your week ahead uh tarot messages Okay, the cards are down, uh, Libra, let's have a look at what's going on. We're going to pull the spiritual cards afterwards, the spiritual uh, advice for the week afterwards. So let's have a look at what the first message is for the week. This is the general message. Okay, justice. Um, fairness, uh, balance. It is actually your major arcana card, isn't it, actually, Libra? So more about mental balance, um, but also fairness, and fairness in all things. Um, being impartial, not one-sided, um, uh, looking at things for what they truly are and making, uh, sorry, making balanced and rational decisions based on, uh, based on a situation. So it's really, for me, justice is about impartiality. Uh, doing the right thing is justice, showing here. Um, also, I think it, uh, justice is the 11th law of the universe. So it's the law, it represents the law of compensation, whatever we put in is what we get out of a situation here what is the next card so this is you justice here and what's interesting as well is you if you look at this justice card you've got a man here two men arguing here and this woman having to make a decision between these two arguments so really it's about weighing up the pros and cons of a situation what's the next card let's have a look um oh the knight of swords um so the Knight of Swords is a uh, Knight of Swords. I mean, swords do represent communication. So for me, with the Knight of Swords and Justice, possibly it depends for me. Knight of Swords is action, but swords are words. So with the Knight of Swords, this can be about direct communication or directing your communication. The Knight of Swords can also be on a crusade because he's a crusader. He's a protector of what is right. Often, sometimes, not all the time. But I feel that you, um, I think the message this week is really just to communicate. Um, it almost feels like it's saying if the Knight of Swords is communication, though I actually see pages as being more communicative cards, but all the swords can be. The King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, especially these court cards. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, they're all communicators. The only thing with the Knight of Swords is, is he tends to be very direct in terms of his communication. Um, so I just feel that it's almost like it's saying, and the Knight of Swords for me is about having the courage of your convictions. So I just feel that the message this week in a way, Libra, is to have the courage of your convictions to communicate what is right, to communicate in a very fair and balanced way, perhaps, with the justice energy. Because when we look at these sword people, they're not all communicating in the right way, are they? 
Do you see what I mean? And not in the right, I don't mean the right way, but they're not all communicating in the same way. The Knight of Swords can be a very kind of, um, he can be an announcement, for example, an announcement card. So this can be, you know, hot off the press. The newspapers, for example, can be the Knight of Swords energy. And so can the Page of Swords emails and stuff. Uh, whereas the the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords tend to be the Queen of Swords tends to be a lot more critical in the way that she communicates, and the King of Swords tends to be far more kind of rational in the way that he would communicate. Um, the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords are younger communicators, so I just feel that it's almost like the clue is in the card with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords can sometimes just charge ahead with what he thinks without thinking about the consequences. So it almost feels like there's a need for you this week with the Knight of Swords and Justice to perhaps communicate or channel your communication uh, through in a more kind of balanced and, um, in a more balanced and, uh, uh, you know, balanced and uh, calm way perhaps with this Justice energy showing here. Um, you've got another sword card. So I think that there is... Um, a need to communicate, a need to, to channel the communication of that night. You've got to, so we know that the majority of this reading is about communication because you've got the, the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords here and you've got the Justice card. It's all air energy. So for me, this looks like communicating ideas or putting forward ideas in a rational and balanced way. And I think that that might be what we're looking at this week so far is that the message from the universe for you this week is that if you have an idea, perhaps with this Ace of Swords energy showing there, that you want to channel through, that you want to communicate, that you want to bring through, because the Knight of Swords is usually on a horse and usually he's charging, he's charging ahead. And he is driven by his ideas with the Ace of Swords. Usually when you look at a Knight of Swords and you look behind the, the Knight of Swords, what card sits behind it, usually this is what this, this, this Knight is, is uh, driven by. So this is also somebody who's driven by the truth as well. This looks, perhaps the message is something connecting in with something legal here as well. But I feel that more than anything, there is a need to communicate the truth here um, in, a, in a very fair and balanced way and in a very honest way because the Justice card is all about the truth as well. And so is the Ace of Swords. So you've got Justice and the Ace of Swords sitting, you know, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Justice and the Ace of Swords you have sandwiching this Knight of Swords. So I just feel that there is a need to, um, and this is also a defender of the truth as well, because the Knight of Swords is the defender in the tarot as well. So there is a need to defend the truth here. And there is a need to channel this truth in a very honest and balanced way, I think, especially if some of you guys are dealing with anything legal here. Um, the Nine of Wands, but I feel with the Nine of Wands, you need to be careful with this nine of wands if you and if you look funnily enough look at the cards the thing that i love about this deck is that they use uh the characters on some cards on others so this knight of swords and the nine of wands can you see that it's the same guy he's still got his his uh he's still got his uh his skateboard can you see it's the same guy he's got the same haircut definitely the same guy he's wearing the same hoodie see and the same haircut and he's got the same he's got a skateboard here and most tellingly is the stripe down the the trousers so this is definitely you know you i think that there is a need to be cautious and careful maybe with that nine of wands energy of um now that's interesting um now the eight of cups is a card about letting things go or abandoning something here um and it almost feels like the universe, the message this week, Libra, is to be careful because he looks very cautious about this dark lane that he's going down, about abandoning a situation here. And it almost feels like that you need to have the courage and the conviction to speak your truth, but speak it in a fair and a balanced way with the justice energy showing here. Or maybe there is a need for you to speak your truth because the Knight of Swords is speaking announcing talking coming forward um he's very courageous is this night so i just feel that we could probably start off with these two cards in a way libra where i think that the general message for you is be very careful of of just abandoning or just letting something go with this eight of cups energy showing here 
Okay, I'd be very careful of doing that because I think that you need this week and going in perhaps for the next two to three weeks. I think that this week it really is required of you with this Knight of Swords energy to have the courage with this Knight of Swords energy to really speak your truth. Okay, all be, I mean, it might be you need to have the courage to speak your truth to somebody who is who will listen this justice maybe justice is someone else but justice is your major arcana card so i just feel that there is a need for you to speak your truth in a in an as in an as honest and as balanced a way as you possibly can with the justice energy because i think that you hold the sky i think that you hold the balance of power here that's the thing I think that you hold the balance of power and I think that you hold the balance of power perhaps in an argument here with this justice energy showing you. Of course, for some of you guys, it may be, um, you know, and it also may be with the nine of wands being the card of endings because nines also mean that you're one step away. Well, we're one step away from the eight of cups. So some of you guys may be one step away from something changing or something ending because we've got... The Eight of Cups, which is also an ending card because it deals with the theme of somebody walking away. So it may be some of you guys are very close to the Eight of Cups. You're very close to an ending here. You're very close to uh, a situation in which either you walk away or perhaps somebody else walks away. But it may be that at this particular time, at this particular... And it may be also that for some of you guys, if you are on the precipice of something coming to a close with that nine of wands and the eight of cups it may be that the universe is saying that this is the time because perhaps some of you guys perhaps it's a situation as well for some of you guys where you don't really want to lose whatever this thing is you're very near this thing ending you may be very close to somebody walking away uh in this situation you may be very very close to that it may be that you're one step away from somebody walking away, yourself walking away from a situation. But I think the universe is trying to say to you, look, if that's the case, Libra, then we would urge you to have the courage to speak your truth, to be as honest and as fair and as transparent as you possibly can be. Especially if it's something that you don't necessarily want to lose with that nine of wands and the eight of cups. You may also need to be cautious. Maybe somebody's leaving. So perhaps the other message is be cautious because somebody's going to leave. It now is the time because the Knight of Swords, funnily enough, is a card about urgency. And if you're looking at timing with the Knight of Swords, it means now. It's very fast. So it means it might mean that now is the time also with this Knight of Swords energy to come clean with this Ace of Swords, to speak your truth with this Knight of Swords in an honest and transparent, transparent and fair way. So I just feel that the message this week is that it almost feels like it's saying, I mean, this could be a legal situation for some of you guys, but I also, I just feel in the main that it's just kind of saying that now is the time. Now is the time to, uh, now is the time to clear something up. Now is the time to be honest about something. Because I think that if you're not honest about whatever this thing is, Libra, some of you guys may just end up losing it, if that makes any sense, okay? Let's have a quick look at what the career reading is. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, choices to be made in terms of career. So there's, there's lots of opportunities out there. There's a lot of choices to be made in terms of career. Now you've got the temperance energy showing here. Now it's interesting because temperance is tussling with the choices of the Seven of Cups. So when you get temperance, as you know, the usual uh, temperance card, you've got this angel on the card and it's doing this and this. It's moving from one, it's trying to get the right balance going here. Um, and I feel that um, the message this week is to make a choice in terms of work or is to look at what choices you have surrounding career this week um for some of you guys there's something with the temperance energy i mean usually in terms of career temperance is either about being in a balanced position being in a this could be a work a home work home life position that is balanced or it could just be feeling kind of contented and balanced within the work that you do. But also temperance can mean cooperating or collaborating with others as well. Um, or it can just mean to temper. Um, I think that there is a need for you to test something new 
with this page because for me the temperance card is also the card of alchemy it's also the card of experimentation so i just feel that there is a need for you to test out something new here okay i think that you've got a choice this week i think the message is that you i think this week it's not that this happens this week it's just the message for this week libra and i think that for some of you guys you have a choice now to test to experiment let's call it experimentation remember look at the foot it's going gingerly into the water it's on land here but the water is here so it's really just trying to try it out or test it so i just feel that this week the universe is saying look you've got a choice you can experiment with something new uh with the temperance and the page of cups energy showing there um and I feel that with the King of Cups energy, that this could, uh, for me, this looks like it could bring a great deal of fulfillment with this King of Cups energy showing here. Or this could be a person that we're looking at here. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is usually application when you get that in a work reading. Um, the King of Cups is often in a work reading. It can represent a person. Um, it can also represent a sense of fulfillment. It could represent a job, a counselling job, a psychotherapist job, uh, with the King of Cups energy showing there. Um, the King of Cups... But for me, when I think about the King of Cups as well, the King of Cups is a card about just taking things slowly before moving too fast with this eight okay the king of cups usually sits on his uh you know he's usually in other decks you see the king of cups sitting on his throne he's on water he's just kind of going with the flow as it were he's taking things slowly as it were with the king of cups not always a person i don't think that this is a person within your reading um i think it almost feels if you think about cups and wands and the elemental uh properties of both of those um, those elements there cups are, are water so it's just kind of like this flow happening here and ones are fire so they often rage they often move very quickly so you've got one slow moving element and one quick moving element and i actually feel that this is saying for you this week libra you know uh you can make a choice here to experiment with something new but i think with the king of cups energy that there's a need for you to just move slowly within this before going too fast, before racing into it. So I think that in terms of career, you know, the message is you can choose to experiment. You have a choice here uh, with the Seven of Cups energy, whether you want to experiment in terms of doing something new. But with the King of Cups energy, you can just move slowly within it before racing off. Because the Eight of Wands is just moving fast, you know, going really, like going into something too fast. And the King of Cups can just be, you know, just kind of take it in your stride, okay? Just move with it slowly. Just gain all the information and all of the knowledge and everything that you need to gain before you really kind of give everything over to this. Um, so I think that it's almost saying to you that there is no rush. This is what comes to me when I look at this reading. It almost, it almost feels like it's saying to you, Libra... Whatever this thing is, because I think there's something new that you guys want to do or experiment with. But whatever it is, there isn't really a need for you to rush into this. You can take things slowly before you just kind of move straight into it with the Eight of Wands. Before you just go 100% into it. Um, before you completely activate this thing, you know, with the Eight of Wands. Because the Eight of Wands is movement, advancement, it's very quick moving energy. And in a way, it's all about giving your all. And the King of Cups is intelligent enough to know that he's just got to kind of sit within this situation and just see how it goes. Um, so I think I think it's I think it's really good. I think it's a really good work message this week. That it's a really good time now to start experimenting something new. And this could be something new and creative, I think, with this Page of Cups energy showing there. It's really good to experiment with. And also, I think, with the Page of Cups energy, uh, this is creativity. So I think that this is a week uh, in which the message is also, you know, you've got choices around you. You do, you are, you do have choices in terms of career. And you could probably choose just to experiment with something with your creativity. And it may be that this is a good week to experiment with your creativity showing here but i think you know when i think about the king of cups 
as well. The King of Cups is a card for me that represents faith and trust. Um, so for some of you guys, it may be that you have a choice whether you want to experiment with something new. But some of you guys could literally this week start experimenting with your own creativity, with something creative, and trust that it will take off with the King of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Because King of Cups is about also trusting, which is why he often sits on a, you know, on a boat or on a, you know, on a you know, on a wooden or a steel throne, and he's on water and he's he's not sinking. He's He's, uh, you know, he's not sinking. He's floating on the water. And the only reason that he floats is because he has the faith and the trust of the King of Cups, okay? Um, so some of you guys just really need to trust that this thing will take off. But this is a good week, I think, for experimenting with something creative and just trust that it will take off it will, or it will advance or move forward when it's meant to. Um, finally, let's have a quick look at your love message for the week. Um, well, there's your Knight of Cups, new love, or a new lover, or a seducer is the Knight of Cups energy showing here. Um, okay, so I think the message this week, for some of you guys, it's time to move on from this individual here. Because the Knight of Cups, he's not a totally bad person, but he's not bad at all. The Knight of Cups is just very fickle as an individual. That's the thing with the Knight of Cups. An extraordinarily fickle type of an individual, you know. Uh, loves beauty but hates imperfection, you know. Um, falls in love at the drop of a hat but then often sees something else and then goes to that. So not very committed or reliable. And some of you guys, I think... Um, and also, if you look at how the Eight of Cups is looking over Libra at that Knight of Cups, I think it's time to start seeing somebody for who they truly are as well because if you look at these two cards and the way that she is looking over at this guy here and he's surrounded by lots of people this person is the you know the center of the party as it were but it's time really I think for some of you guys to see somebody for what they truly are and and, and I think just to let go let's have a look at the next one yeah it's time to move on with the knight of wands energy you've got two moving cards here the eight of cups and the um um uh, and the uh, and the knight of wands so i just feel that it is time to uh see somebody for who they truly are and it's time to move on to to exit this individual here um yeah and you've got the hermit as well it's time to distance yourself it's time to remove yourself from the situation here um and, you know, it's an interesting thing with the Hermit because he's not always about solitude. Sometimes he's about finding others. But let's have a look at what the next one is. See the Four of Cups. I think it's time to distance yourself from a situation that you're, you, you're not happy with anymore with this Four of Cups. Okay. Um, I think it's time to remove yourself from that, to withdraw, because the Hermit can mean to withdraw. It's time to withdraw from this energy showing here. And I think it's time to start exploring life on your own for a little while because the Knight of Wands is an explorer and the Hermit is, you know, uh, being on one's own and finding um, finding a, your own personal insights here. Um, so let's do the reading again. I think the message this week for you Librans in terms of love is to um, see somebody for who they truly are. Because when I look at that Eight of Cups, it looks like it's looking directly over at that knight and what he's do he or she he's doing. So for some of you guys, it's like, if you look at both of those cards, it's almost like the message is, see somebody for truly for who they are. Because this person is not reliable. Some of you guys really wanted somebody who was reliable and who you could really kind of rely on and trust and who would be committed but I don't think this person is I think that you're seeing this person for what they truly are and because of that I think that the message is it's time to leave this situation now with this knight of wands and the eight of cups I think it's time to start exploring you know having an adventure a personal adventure here the of your own it's time to leave behind the unhappiness or the discontentment that you found with this individual and it's time to start exploring life I think with the hermit as well on your own terms so before we do the spiritual reading, uh, Libra, let's get the uh, the other readings, a recap on those, okay? So firstly, I would say that uh, the message for the week in terms of general is to speak your truth this week and to speak it with honesty and 
balance and rationality and just to be as honest and truthful because justice is the truth. And the Knight of Swords, if you think about it, is pursuing the truth and he is driven by the truth because knights, the Knight of Swords especially is a defender of the realm. So whatever is in front of him is usually what it's pursuing. Whatever is behind of him is usually what's motivating him. So it just feels to me that some of you guys, uh, the message is to speak the truth and pursue the truth. Okay, Don't be afraid to, um, to channel your ideas. Because the Knights for me can also be channelers. So don't be afraid to channel your ideas. To do the right thing as well with the justice energy showing here. But also to speak in a fair and balanced way this week. Some of you guys may be close to walking out on a situation as well with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups showing there. But I feel that, you know, whether it's you walking out of a situation, whether it's somebody else walking out on a situation, I actually feel that this is the message this week is before you do any of that stuff, it's time to really speak your truth. OK, do it in a fair, balanced, rational way. But it really is time to kind of maybe get something off your chest here. Um I would also say that uh, now is the time to deliver the truth as well. Perhaps somebody needs to hear a few home truths. Uh, in terms of career, so many options are available to you in terms of your career. I do feel that some of you guys, it's time to experiment with your creativity perhaps. And I feel with the King of Cups energy showing here that there is no rush. I think that you just need to trust that things are going to actually move forward when they're meant to. Okay. Um, I also feel that some of you guys, it could also be read as with that King of Cups and the Eight of Wands to let a particular person inspire you, especially if you're experimenting with your creativity this week. Maybe it's a good idea to let somebody who is probably a mentor or somebody who is experienced in this realm because we've got a king who's experienced in a page who is not to inspire you and to motivate you as well because the king of cups could easily be a person obviously and the eight of wands is motivation but so perhaps this week it's a good time to experiment with your creativity and let somebody who has more experience inspire or motivate you in this area Finally, in terms of love, I think it's important to see somebody for who they truly are, okay? There's a bit of a player, perhaps, for some of you guys. See them for who they truly are and recognise that now is the time to let go, to move on and to explore life on your own terms. I think if you're not happy within a relationship showing here, if you're not happy with the group of people that you're surrounded by in terms of a, a person that you're dating and their friends and that type of thing, perhaps it's time to withdraw from that and just focus on the self for the time being all right let's have a quick look at what the spiritual message is for the week and for that we go to these cards here which if you've looked at what decks i'm using this week you'll know that i'm using the tea leaf um so look what that, the tea leaf fortune cards and i just take three so three cards please out of this deck please what is the message that you have for libra this week what is the message that you have for libra this week in three cards so i'm going to take from just closing my eyes while i'm doing this one Give me two more messages. What's the messages that you have for Libra this week, please? Uh, I'll take that one. Two. And give me a third one. Three. So, let's have a look. Three messages this week for you. Um, there's an older man around you. You're going to have dealings or a relationship with an older man showing here. The bat. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, the bat. Um... Take care, enemies are working against you, I'm afraid. So some of you guys, you've got dealings with an older man. Um, dealings or a relationship with an older man. You do need to take care as enemies may be working against you. Sorry to say that, but that's what came out. Um, and bag, something important such as a new job or a raise, okay? So this week, you could have something important such as a new job or a raise coming in. Um you do need to take care because you may have enemies working against you with that back card. And also there may be dealings with uh, or a relationship with an older guy um, for some of you guys this week or going into the next few weeks. All right, that is your reading, my darlings, for the week. Libra, I would like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you like your own private reading, click on the link in the comment section below. Have a great week and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.